I remember that uh, that thing you said about oranges and, and bananas or something, where everyone everyone wanted you to make bananas, but you made oranges, and no one wanted oranges, but you just kept on making oranges, and now everyone wants oranges. <laughs> so I respect that a lot. And some yeah. of them, some of them want oranges though, not mm -hmm. all of them. Okay. Because there is like a 10 year gap between Far From The Norm artists and the NYDC artists, we learn something new from each other. We might see something that might not even potentially be part of the movement, but because the person's got a different understanding of movement, that can then be something that sparks off a new idea. We don't want it to be a thing whereby it's just us teaching the NYDC dancers. We said from the beginning that it was more of an exchange. So I think the exchange is what's inspiring. We, we, we're quite intense as a company with our movement. We use a lot of hip hop uh, movement. We're quite intense and we push quite a lot. But then for us as a company, we've had to learn that because we're working with the dancers, we need to know when to push and when not to push because if we push too hard, because we've got this different age range who maybe haven't experienced this high intensity kind of movement, we don't want to break their bodies, so it's kind of knowing the right time. So, it, but we're trying to make it as as real as it can be to what a real life experience would be working with a professional company. It's so much more intense, like by a good hundred <laughs> percent. Um, yeah, at college, it's kind of easy going but it's still challenging but this is just next level for me so I'm really trying to push myself to be at the standard that you guys want. That's good. Yeah. I've never like formally trained like breaking or any more hip-hop or like the more urban styles. It's a lot of like new experiences I guess. It's, it's really cool like, finding all these like middle grounds between I haven't trained this, but there are things that I have trained and things that I, I do know that there's like such a big overlap. I think it's kind of reinvigorated like a youthful feeling and like a hunger. I think because everyone's so on it and just wants to get on with it and they want to learn material, like I feel, I feel like I've had more like get up and go about my soul the last couple of days. The whole attitude in hip hop is like each one teach one. So being able to pass on your skills to the next generation so they can evolve and take it to a higher place for me is quite a big thing. I like to dance because it makes me feel good. That's right. And it's about kind of coming out of your normal life and being able to go and take a completely different little like can you run little world and it's just being able to like move and like flow through that movement and not have to think about anything else but what you're doing and it's kind of like an out of body experience. I think all the power like we put into the movements is actually giving me strength in my self as well. If I truly want to do something then and put enough attack in it and tell myself that I'm able to do it, then I'm able to do it. And I like that. I feel a bit more confident and aggressive, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I've learned lots of things, but I think one thing, I, I changed the word learnt to uh, solidified, like my thoughts on things. And that's mostly through you, like hearing how you, how you got to where you are solidified a lot of things for me because I think as a young person often you'll feel a little bit not lost but I've got my whole life ahead of me so it's all a bit everywhere like there's not there's not a set path like I know that it's an option. I think for me it's being able to knock down the hard wall I do put up at the beginning and trying to knock that down because you want to fit in with them, you want to fit in with everybody else. So you kind of like put a zone up and it's like how to knock that down and just accept who you are in that space. And I think that's the, the hardest thing that's always, always been a struggle for me. 
it's just knocking down that wall and actually telling people like I'm not actually like that person like I am actually quite like normal mm. <laughs> in a way mm. I think it's just it's just being prepared <laughs> motivated mm. and also a little bit scared because you always need to be a bit scared mm. because you just don't know what's going to come but you know it'll work out in the end Like what empowers you in NYDC? Um, I think the like looking at, at you guys is very okay. empowering from a kind of empowering and it, it's inspiring because it's like looking it's looking at the kind the kind of place that I'd like to be in the future. I think when I first thought about NYDC, it took me back to like okay, when I was what was what was I doing when I was sixteen? And I think something that I realised was the adults for me at the time didn't really care about young people. I don't know if it's the same today, but I just felt like there was no, the respect wasn't really there. So I felt like I had to kind of bring that communication back to the young people to understand that, um, even just looking at them in the eyes, like I felt like when I was young, I didn't get that kind of, from teachers as well. There's a very, there's big much of a hierarchy and I felt like bringing it to NYDC, you know, showing them, guys, look, I'm like this as well. And so they're, they're more fun, there's, there's, there's kind of a bit more fun with them so they understand that we are, well, disciplined with serious human beings, but we can still have like a, a, a calmer and a funnier side to us, a more human side to us. I think what I'm learning is, um, I think the hunger, I think something about the hunger gets lost as we get older as professional dancers. I feel like I watch it from the young dancers, it's like they just want to like push, want to do everything, yeah I can do this and it's, that for me is humbling because it makes me feel like I have to work, I have to work extra harder now because it's like they're just, they give me a lot so I'm just like okay how much, you know, how much do you give and it's teaching me, it's teaching me a lot about myself to, to still be a child. I think I still want to be, a, I still want to be like a playful 17 year old in my head. I make work and I feel like that's that's gonna stick with me.